Okay, so I finally reached 150 followers. Yay! And I've always wanted to try vlogging. So here I am trying to do vlogging, obviously. So um, I'm gonna try vlogging. And if it gets a good response, I guess I'll try to talk about romance manga reviews through vlogging too. So I would start with news first. So news. Um, one of my all-time favorite mangas. Well, it's not all-time. It's just really recently, just because, um, uh, you know, it's a for mature audiences, and I'm talking about Natsu no Zenjitsu, if you know it. So Natsu no Zenjitsu, I did a review about it. It's about um, like an artist who's like so emo and angsty, and he meets this sort of well-known girl, an art collector, or whatever, and then they fall in love. They have like really passionate sex by the second chapter, but it's all tastefully done. You know, I've talked that before. I mean, I say the same thing basically in my review, and it's really good. I mean, it just ended in Japan, I think, and um, the English translations, cantillations are a bit behind, but yeah, it's gonna end, so just one of the sad things i guess because that's one of the mangas i really enjoyed and i just recently reviewed the mangaka's other work koi kaze that's the incest manga that i talked about having uncomfortable feelings about but anyway for today i'm gonna review kamisama hajime mashite and i don't know if you guys are familiar with it but let's go and see so here is um kamisama hajime mashite well it's basically about this schoolgirl who loses everything her dad kind of leaves her and she's forced to live in a shrine and she becomes like the god for that shrine and she has a familiar, which is a really hot, fox, bitchy person. Yeah. So, but it's actually not that bad. I mean, um, it's by... It's by Suzuki Julieta, if I'm saying that right. So, and, well, her works, I really actually like her works. They're not that bad. So, there's this guy who, I mean her dad, who had a huge debt, and Nanami, the girl, has to like, find another place to live, and she finds this shrine, and I wish, you know, I'd be as lucky if I was <laughs> as misfortune. All these girls who just like, happen to have nowhere to live, and just a house, you know, full of good looking guys, just adopt them every time. <sighs> okay. So, oh. and it's this one, if you want to see the cover there, I'm sure some of you have read it, it's relatively, like, popular. And a lot has happened, there's like a hundred and plus chapters now, but it's still not done, the English scanalations anyway. And, it, you know, the character development is good, it's something I would keep reading, you know, Some it, you would remember it somehow because the, um, the story's kind of unique, but like it kind of reminds me of Inuyasha at some point because the girl has to go back in, you know, that era where Inuyasha is set. So it kind of reminds me of that, but all in all, it's a good one. The girl isn't annoying, you know, for with me for the shoujo, sometimes they're just not relatable but with this girl it's fine she's a little too you know positive and perky but it's fine another good thing about it the girl was really give all to her love so if you like those type where the girl is just go 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 i really like this guy i want to you know i'm gonna do everything for him to make me like me back it's one of those types she's just one of those heroines so the verdict is Da, 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 da. yes you should read it 
if you like i don't know if you like shoujo stuff fluffy shoujo stuff but if you don't if you're like a shonen dude i don't know how what you ended up here but no you shouldn't read it you should find something else this is definitely for the typical shoujo reader someone who wants something a bit different than the typical school life thing but it's kind of the same but like the romance is really good if you like the type that the guy is kind of aloof okay and this is for my first vlog if i you know kind of like it then maybe i'll do more so thank you for watching all the way it's here and happy holidays and thank you and please say hi somehow <laughs> through my tumblr ask or something bye